Hi, Jean Burnett from jeanburnett.com. Um, I thought we'd talk a little bit today about uh, doing Tai Chi or uh, martial arts in a small, confined space, doing your practice in a space that's smaller than your form usually uh, allows for. Um, Master Chung, uh, my teacher, Andy Dale's teacher, used to um, do the long form on a card table or on a desk at demonstrations um, to demonstrate that you didn't need a huge space to practice them, that you could do it in a, any, any reasonable amount of space. Um, also to illustrate that the form is not the Tai Chi, that the form can adapt and change and um, it doesn't have to look a certain way so that for you to learn the Tai Chi. Uh, the form is a container in which to learn about Tai Chi, which as I translate it is just unforced balance. It's finding that, that the place of unforced balance and responsiveness and readiness. So you can study that regardless of your uh, the space you're in. Um, I learned Tai Chi in a space, a practice space about the size of a queen size bed. That's all I had in my apartment. And, uh, and I practiced outdoors somewhat, but I mostly practiced in that space. So it definitely can be done. Um, I'm going to confine myself now to a space about four feet by four feet here. So just, just right here. Um, the main thing you have to do when you're, um, when you're doing this kind of uh, um, practice is that you just switch your feet instead of stepping. The, um, this, the weight shifts are the same, stepping with my left foot and shifting. Normally, I would sit back and I would turn and I would shift over to this left foot and I would step with my right and then go forward into the next move. Um, but if I'm in a confined space from here, I come back, but then I just switch my feet. See, I just brought that left foot in. Now I step and I can do my, my next move. Come back. Step and do the next one. So there might be a step up here. If I'm running out of space, I'll, I'll step back instead of forward. Come around. Disregard what particular movements I'm doing. It doesn't really matter what form it is, but the point is switch the feet. So if I'm doing a backward move, same thing, where normally I would step back here and shift my weight onto that back leg, which I can't now. What I'm going to do is just slide the foot back. Now drop my weight into that left leg. Right from here, just switch the feet, sink my weight into my right leg. Some movements are easy, like Sparrow's Tail, because that's kind of a in-place movement anyway. But if I'm turning, see I have to turn, and then I'll just do a little shuffle, and then I'm over here. So you just have to make little foot adjustments. Take your time and feel your way through it, and you can do it in a very small space. Uh, I heard that the founder of each one which is like a condensed version of Shi Yi, uh, was in prison. I heard he had some kind of a match with somebody and he killed the guy and he ended up in jail. And um, I think he was either chained to a wall or he was in a very small space. So he took all the you know big movements of Shi Yi and made them small because he had to do them within the confines of this chain. He didn't want to rattle too much and get the guard's attention or something like that. So you can take even, you know, like Xin Yi type move here. All I'm going to do is just switch my feet. I'm still doing the rise, but instead of forward, and I leave my little imaginary card table here, um, what I'll do instead is I come up, uh, let's see, where was my, uh, here I come up, switch feet, boom. So I'm switching my feet. Whereas normally I would drive this forward and step left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw back, transfer to my right and then left. Left and then right. Um, if I'm doing movements like this, I'm just not covering ground when I go forward. I'm keeping my feet within the, within the circle. Crossing, I can just slide back. I'm not, I'm not doing a full, you know, crossing like this, because I don't have the space for that, but I can take the find the essential thing, the essential energy of crossing the step as I did here. So I'm just going to do that. Um, bung Chan or crushing is really easy. You could do that in place. I'm just dropping my weight into my right leg, dropping my weight into my left leg. I'm exaggerating that. I wouldn't actually lift my foot. I would just um, settle there, and then boom. So I'm rising on my left, sinking into my right. Rising on my right, 
sinking into the left. Um, drilling, um, you can drill this way. Switch feet this way. This way. Or you can um, do that kind of a thing where you twist and boom, twist and boom like that. Um, something I've been playing with lately is getting a little bit of a circle going here and rotating around this way and back again. So this hand is blocking and then coiling and then boom. That can be done part of the way, more of the way, or even all the way to that corner there. So it can be almost a 360. And then back again. So you can work those, you can work those different um, work those different angles. So, um, you know, think about how you can adapt the footwork to the space you're in and you might be able to find a more uh, direct connection to the essential quality that you're looking for. Not so much the particular form uh, that it might take in a, in, in a given space, but the essential quality of, the mo of each movement. Um, like if I was doing the solo form of our, of our partner form, uh, what we call section seven and eight, you know, it, it normally covers quite a bit of ground, but from here, I, I'm just, I just keep switching my feet, so I start to feel like, ah, oh, this isn't so much about covering ground, but just the essential martial quality of each one of these movements. So I'm doing a, a form that would normally, I'd be a long way from here by now, I'd be way over there somewhere, but I'm able to, you know, stay in a, in a pretty close, uh, pretty close quarters, and do it. Um, so uh, it can be really nice, um, a nice way to practice. So something to think about. Um, try it sometime, even if you have tons of space. Do whatever your form or your exercise is in a quarter or a half or a tenth of the space. You can even do it in place. I've taught Tai Chi classes to people in their 80s who were pretty frail and fragile, and we did the whole form without even moving our feet just transferring weight back and forth and doing things in place like this. And everything was just right here. So it can, it can really be condensed and still, and still maintain its, uh, its root and its good posture and its softness and its um, responsive, loose, open joints. All that stuff can still, still be there even though your, your space is tiny. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of thing. I do a lot of music videos, Tai Chi videos, nature videos, the occasional stab at humor. And um, my website is jeanburnett.com for more information. Thanks for watching.